the four stages or variants of the locust. This is very important for us to understand that we look at these four stages of the locust army, which is the fifth trumpet army of Revelation, seen in Joel chapter 1. What the devouring locust has left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust has left, the young locust has eaten. And what the young locust has left, the destroying locust has eaten. So here you can see in the Berean Study Bible translation that there are four different types or stages of locusts. Now the King James unfortunately uses worms here, but in the Hebrew, these are not canker worms, caterpillars, or palmer worms. These are different types of locusts. Here you can see the Hebrew words for the crawling locust or the young locust, the chewing locust, the next phase of the locust, the consuming locust, where he grows wings, okay? And then of course, the swarming locust, the last one is when they form a swarm together. That is another Hebrew word, arba, for the swarm of the locust. So there you can see the actual Hebrew words and the fact that this is very significant of the stages of the locust. So here's an animation of the stages of the locust and there's no worm. The locust immediately comes out of its encasing in the ground and it's a young locust. This is our first stage, the young locust, and then he begins to grow. And it's like a grasshopper. It has no wings, it's in the grasshopper stage and the devouring locust that we uh, saw in the um, description of the Hebrew verses. The devouring locust in its last phase, it sheds that skin and it has wings. Once it has wings, it's the final stage and it forms the swarm. Okay, so those are the four stages that we could see. What the devouring locust has left, the swarming locust has eaten, what the swarming locust has left, the young locust has eaten, what the young locust has left, the destroying locust has eaten. So those, those are the Hebrew words associated with the four stages of the locust. Now this is in Joel chapter 1, and in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, it says, I will repay you for the years. Now I want you to remember the years the years of the locust. So these locusts took place over years. The swarming locust, the young locust, the destroying locust, the devouring locust, my great army. Okay, so this is an army of locusts. And we can see this perfectly in Revelation. For Revelation 1 6, a nation has come upon you strong without number, whose teeth are the teeth of the lion. And this is the same thing in Revelation 9 8. The locust had the teeth that were the teeth of lions. Same description. Revelation also has the swarm where the sun went by the air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit and there came out of the smoke locusts. So that's a locust swarm that is taking place in Revelation chapter 9 with the fifth trump being blown. And it talks about the sting and men should be tormented five months. And their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man. Okay, remember the five months. That's when he strikes a man. Okay, the same thing is seen in Revelation 9 10 and they had tails like a scorpions and their stings were in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months so we have four stages of locusts okay and each stage of the locust has a sting or has something that takes place for five months so that must take place over years okay and it is an army Remember it said, the great army which I sent among you in Joel 2.25. In Revelation, it's the locusts are an army. The likeness of the locusts were like horses for battle. So these are the four stages or variants of the locusts for he who has ears and eyes to see.